guys, it's Nancy, and I have another coloring video. These are the new house mouse stamps that have been added to Spellbinders. I got two out of the six that are available. Um, this one I did a video on already is called Bouquet for You. The stamps are rubber cling stamps. Uh, they're $14.99, or you can get all six in the house mouse um, collection bundle for $89.94. So this one is Bouquet for You, and that has two sentiments, especially for you, and you are special. And then the one we're going to play with today is this guy here. This one is called Poppin' By, and there you can see the stamp and the two sentiments say, Missing You, and Life is Always Bringing Unexpected Gifts. So I've already saved us a little bit of time by pre-stamping this. Um, let me just move this out of the way. Um, with my Misty, just remember when you use the Misty to remove that foam pad, and I stamped it with the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, and I did use my heat tool to heat set it. Um, what I would like to color with today is color pencils and some Gamsol. So I have some Gamsol here, and then I have these blending stumps. So I find for me this is the easiest way for me to color and blend. So... We will do that. This, um, I believe, is Hammer Mill 80 pound premium color cover stock. And um, this panel is cut down to five and a half by four and a quarter. We'll color it and then we'll cut it down. And I'm going to use today um, Castle Arts color pencils. And these are, I believe, oil based color pencils. So let's get to coloring. I actually want to put some paper down to scribble on. All right, here we go. This way, if we need to do any blending or anything goes through, we'll be okay. All right, so I'm going to start with, these look like poppies to me, so I'm going to start with them. Let me grab some dark greens out here. The other video I did with um, alcohol markers, and I used some Olo, some Spectrum Noir, some Copics, mix and match, whatever you have. It's the same thing with color pencils. Just remember that there are color pencils that are, um, you know, wax-based, oil-based, and then there are watercolor pencils, which activate with water. I am, again, just admitting that I am not the best when it comes to coloring. So I'm just going to lay down some color. And then I will blend it out with the Gamsel. And what Gamsel is, is mineral spirits. It's odorless mineral spirits. And what it does is it basically, it breaks down the wax on the pencils so that you don't have any marks. So let me bring my camera now a little closer here so you guys can hopefully see a little better what I'm doing, maybe. There we go. There we go. That is my dog whining in the background, if you hear her. She is underfoot. She would rather be in my lap. <laughs> She's getting louder. Um, but I'm not going to put her in my lap right now. Um, this is, what are these again? Castle Arts Gold. I just got these. Haven't used them very often. Number 112. I, sh I say just got them, but it's been like a year. 112. This one's 113, which is a little bit darker green. So I'm going to go in and just use that as my shadow. wants to fall down here today. Okay, hopefully we're better there. And then you're just going to take, this is a um, Gamsol blending bottle I got from Inky Antics, and it comes with the Gamsol. And you just take your little stump, and you'll see as we touch that dauber that the stump will get saturated with that mineral oil. Now it dries very quickly, so you just have a few moments to just to rub over where your color pencil is. You'll feel when it dries out because it won't blend anymore. And again, you just touch the tip 
and blend. Now this is a really small area, so I don't even really need to do any blending here. You'll notice it more when we get to the bigger areas. Okay, that's, that's how simple this is. Like up here, I didn't even color it. I can just take what's on my stump and color that in. Okay, all right, so let's color some of these in some dark oranges and reds. And I'm just gonna really put a dark layer down towards the bottom. And then what I'll do with the Gamsel is I will slide that color upward. Kind of like watercoloring. You know, we put our darker colors in the middle and you see how I can drag that color up. Now anywhere I don't think there's enough color go back in and this dries very quickly remember it evaporates so I can keep layering and adding those colors and it doesn't cause my paper to pill up because I'm not using water okay and this was a really dark burnt orange terracotta so I'm gonna just bring in a couple different colors. I know poppies come in many different colors. So Anywhere here I want it to be darker, I'm gonna layer that in. So there's kind of like one layer of flower here. And again, the artist has drawn in some areas where they think there should be shadows. So we're just gonna mimic that with our pencil. And then I'll just lightly shade that, but I have enough there it looks like a hot mess, but I have enough pigment laid down now that I can shade all this in very easily, very smooth. The, I love using color pencils because it's very easy, very forgiving. You do not have to be an expert at blending or coloring or layering when it comes to using color pencils. All you do is put the color down, and then the gamsel is the secret. The gamsel just kind of melts it and smooths it all down. People will think you colored it with a marker because it looks really smooth, but you used a pencil. And the pencils, I think, are a little cheaper than the markers. You can get expensive pencils. Like, these pencils are a little more expensive, but I've used Arteza pencils. I have used Prismacolor pencils, um, and then I splurged a little bit and got these pencils, but... You can see how beautiful that is. And there's no lines, like there's no pencil lines. You see that? Come on, focus camera. And yet we have this darker area here. We have a lighter area over here. It's very easy to do. Okay, let's start adding some reds. This one is red ochre. Now see, I don't think this is dark enough, so I'm gonna add in a darker color to this one. And I went outside the line there. You just take an eraser, any eraser. It's pencil, you guys. And we erase that. Just wanna make sure that your ink is set before you start coloring, because you don't want it to bleed. I'm gonna color my reds. I got a darker red here. This one is a scarlet red.
You'll notice I'm not being super precise. I'm just getting color down because the gamzel is going to blend it out. So if I miss any spots, the gamzel will get it. I still want this darker. Alzerian Crimson, is that going to be dark enough? No, it's still not dark enough. I want like a brick red. Yeah. Bengal Rose Deep. That's more of a pink. Going in the wrong direction here. Grenadine, still too light. Well, do I not have a dark, dark red? Magenta, that's going to be more pink. I think this is it for dark reds. Okay, we'll just have to make do. Maybe. I was looking on the other side of the case. I think there's 120 pencils in there. So there's more than enough pencils. It's just a matter of mixing those colors. I guess. Okay, let's try this one. Vermilion. There we go. That's more of a poppy red. Okay, and then I'll make those other ones yellow, I think. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab our blending stump, and we're just going to go in with our gamzel. And I just like to go in like small, circular. It doesn't matter. You can go back and forth. You can go up and down. There's no rules, but I like to do small circular areas and just blend them out. Usually going from the darker areas to the lighter areas. And again, if you want it darker, layer more color on. We can leave this alone for now, but look at the difference between this one that's blended and this one that's not blended. See how you can see all those pencil strokes? And you can feel, it's hard to explain, you can feel when the blending stump is starting to go dry. It just doesn't want to, um, it doesn't want to do the blending. You'll feel it. Okay, and then I think for those two, we'll do like a yellow. There's like orange yellow poppies, right? Golden. Now, see, I'm going to color these in a yellow. This is cadmium yellow light. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to find an orange and layer the orange over top of it. So we have that gradient. So this is marigold. And again, you just see how those colors just 
meld together. That's the only way I can explain it. They're just so smooth. They mix together very beautifully. pretty that is. Let me find some darker orange to do. And we can add some of this red. And again, it's not, it's not soaking through my paper. It's not like a marker. So it dries very quickly. It basically evaporates. You see that drop just went into my paper there? That's going to evaporate. It'll dry. It doesn't hurt anything. And you can layer this as much as you want to layer it. This one up here. You got flown away. Must be a windy day. how pretty that came out. Okay, I think that's good for our flowers. Okay, in the last card, I did our little mouse gray, so I think we'll do this little mouse brown. This color, this one is called Redwood. And just a very light hand of color here. This one, just to give them a little base color. This one's a little darker. This is called Van Dyke Brown. Oh, much darker. So this we're gonna do like a little shadow under his head here. A little shadow underneath. Just a little bit of color in here. Just kind of mixing it and 
want to go in with a really light. That's the same color we used. Yeah, like a taupe. For his hands, his feet, his tail. It's called Old Rose, but it's kind of a taupey color. And then we're going to add just a hint of pink. Just a tiny bit of pink inside this ear here. Okay, so now that he's all colored, now we just do what we've been doing. Now, one thing you'll notice <clears throat> is each blending stump has already been used. So this is kind of a blue. Here's kind of a brown. You don't have to be exact. Once it's dry, it's really not going to transfer too much. But I try to stay within the same color family. Like, I wouldn't want to use this now and then go blend in his ear. So I'll grab like a red or a pink for his ear. So try to stay within the same color family. If you have too much color on your blending stump and you can't, you can't justify using it, they have these little sandpaper things that you can, um, you can sand down that color off your blending stump. And, and all this is is rolled paper. That's all this is, you guys. And you can pick these up pretty much at any art store. Any, um, Blick has them... Where else did I just recently see them? Michael's has them. I'm sure Joanne's has them. But you want to go down to the art section. Hobby Lobby has them. And of course you can order them online. Um, I got a whole little kit from Inky Antics with the blending solution and the stumps. So I'll link that down below. But look, we're done. Look how easy that was to color. And it looks really pretty and it really pops. And then if you wanted to, should we go a little extra with this? We're already here. Let's do it. This is cobalt turquoise, and I'm very, very light-handed. Okay, so when you have all those pencil marks, you can see that you colored it in with a pencil. So this is where the gamzel is going to help us, help us look better than we actually are. Okay. And I have a big fat blending stump here. Okay, and I'm going to start in the smaller areas, and just same thing, just going to rub that blue. Oops, got to be careful, I dragged some green into there. You want to stay within your color family there. <laughs> Trying not to touch the red. We don't need purple.
And if it's too tight of an area, leave it alone. No one's going to notice if you didn't get in there and blend that. That I'll fix later. I'll go back in with the blue pencil and recolor it. When the gamsel starts to dry out, go back in, grab some more. Now a little too much there. It's saturated the paper. It will dry very quickly. Don't worry about it. Just leave it alone and come back to it later. Now I have heard you can also use BB oil. I personally have not tried that, so I am not sure. So I cannot attest to that. Now, obviously, you can go in and add a couple different colors, so you have different layers, but I'm just going to use this blue and just, you know, make it a little darker towards the bottom here, and then the further he goes up, the little bit lighter it goes. I 
All right. Pretty happy with that. Like I said, there's a little wet spot of gamsel there. We'll just let that, hopefully that'll dry up out of the way. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to add a little bit, little bit more color over on this side. a little bit of red on this side so I'm gonna leave that alone and then I can go back in with my pencil later erase or sorry my eraser later erase that and then try to correct it I have one of these little eraser twos smaller eraser Some greasy spot there. I don't know what that is. Oh, I'm smearing it and making it worse. Mayday, mayday. You know, and you have a dirty eraser. Let's bring a clean eraser in. Alright, I'm gonna leave that alone because I'm making that one worse. Let's leave it alone. Know what that was. It's an opportunity for a sentiment now. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, this is going on way too long now. I'm having way too much fun coloring. This is what it is. Okay, I'm good. I'm going to stop. You got to know when to stop. I'm done. I'm going to stop. I'm done coloring. We're going to cut this down. We're going to mount it on a card. I'm going to stamp the sentiment right over that boo-boo, um, a little boo-boo there. So I have a card base ready. I have some red card stock. This is Spellbinder's um, thick card stock. This should be cut down to five and a half by four and a quarter, which is A2 size. Yeah, it's mostly there. It's a little sliver. I'm gonna glue this bad boy down. down to five and a quarter by four hopefully right to the edge of that stamped area a little bit more on this side Actually, let's cut this down to, can we do five by three and three quarters? Will that fit? Well, that will fit. Okay, so we're gonna do five by three and three quarters. 
we're going to double map this. So our stamped panel is five by three and three quarters. And then I'm going to find some darker cardstock. Do I have black? I thought I had a piece of black. Oops. Here we go. We'll cut this piece of black down to five and a quarter by four. Okay, and that is the Poppin' by Stamp House Mouse over at Spellbinders. And again, the other one I had was Bouquet for You, which is this one. And I am going to put a sentiment on there. It's going to drive me crazy, so let's see here. Missing you, fits there pretty good, covers it up enough. Maybe I should stamp it on white cardstock and put it there. Life always brings unexpected gifts. What if we put that there and then we put some sequins on here? Let's do that. life is always bringing unexpected gifts should be guests <laughs> life is always bringing unexpected guests <laughs> that'd have been funnier okay okay probably could have pressed a little harder there but that's okay and I was going to do some sequins. We're going to go with black. These are the black smooth discs from Spellbinders. Come in a couple different sizes. Grab my smaller blue bottle. Oh, I just smeared the ink. Okay, that's okay. I can fix it. I can fix it. I have these. I knew these were going to come in handy modern ovals and I said these smaller ones are perfect for sentiments okay that one's too small okay so I'm not going to do it now because you guys have been here long enough but I'm going to restamp it on white cardstock and I'm going to glue it right over there. I'm going to cut it out with this. So that's how I'm going to fix that. And 
I'm going to attach these black sequins once that's done, and then we'll have the two cards. So I'll post it on my Facebook and my Instagram. And again, this one is bouquet for you. This one's popping by. Hopefully you had fun watching me color. I know these were longer videos. Normally I don't do them as long, but I know some of you have requested for me to actually show the coloring. So there we go. If you're interested, um, if you can do me a favor and give me a thumbs up before you leave, and then the links will be down below to purchase any of these products. Thanks for watching guys and keep on coloring. Bye.